So Saturday was the 1st of uh, September, which is the beginning of spring in the Southern Hemisphere and in South Africa. We've still got rain forecast for a good couple of days, so uh, yeah, it doesn't feel very spring-like yet. Apparently we've got snow on the mountains and plenty of water, about 40 millimeters of rain expected this week. So we are very blessed and it also means the you know, first of spring is the first of, of September, first day of spring, is new beginnings, new life. And in a sense that is what this vlog is all about. It's a new beginning for me. And I've been doing various uh, formats. I am a qualified tourist guide, so it's in my nature to want to explain things uh, of interest, history and geography and uh, the various aspects of the Cape and that is one part of vlogging is entertainment, education and encouragement. Let's put some of them inside there now. <laughs> Okay, tell me a little, tell me a little bit about it. Okay, so we are called Jungle Walk Tours, and we are found here at the Green Market Square, the Central Methodist, and uh, the pet assist bikes that we do, which is uh, literally an easy ride around the city. It takes you around the city in a space of like a one-hour journey can easily take you thirty minutes. Okay. Uh -huh, and and so we've been uh, forecast to have a couple of days of rain. The weather is starting to set in, and. Everybody is on their way home. Um, really windy, cold conditions in and around the city at the moment. And, uh, you know, ladles who love at least try and prepare a nice hot meal for the homeless people. So that's. Puppy. Just a puppy. Just a puppy. Are you Danny? I'm Danny. Hi, Jamie. Right. How's it? How are you doing?
run by the British, it is then that the British decide, let's find the guy every day at the hour of 12 o'clock to which the sailors then could reset their watches and their subscronometers and clocks to the 12 o'clock time in Cape Town. And that basically brought 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, watch the... Echo, echo. Echo. What happened here? Um, I think the gas, gas, gas bottles. Tank, yeah, gas tank exploded. The onto was making it close right on the gas heater and then the close caught the light. Um. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How are you, sir? I'm well in yourself. What does the Sia mean? Sia Bonga. Oh, also Zulu. No, I'm Kosa one from the same key. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's now five o'clock on Thursday evening on our way through to town to Napier Street for a Ladles of Love, Ladles of Love uh, soup kitchen. Hopefully to find out uh, a bit more about the clients and, and the inside of the, the operation. Here we go, that side, that way. Yeah, he's older than me. He's older. <laughs> <laughs> you it's your first time. Yeah, first, first time. Are these the extra? Are these the extra? What, what are we on? I am an ASS. That's what I said. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. Yeah. Who lives here? Who lives here? Yeah, who lives in this lot? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Is it? Okay, and the police don't bother you? No, they just come and wake us up like in the morning, like law enforcement come and come wake us up and then you, But you don't pack, you don't pack away? Yeah, we like pack away and then we make like, in the afternoon once all the school people are gone and the work people are gone, then we make then it Then you up. make it up again? Oh, okay. And what do you do in the day? Park cars, wash cars, you know, anything that like... You, you can? To, like make a... Know, some money for them food in the evening. Uh, yeah. And how many people give soup kitchens? Oh, these are like the only people that come here during the week. Oh, you are the only people that come here. Maybe we can check into this people sandwich or a popcorn ride. Yeah. Yeah, so this has been an interesting week. Um, starting off with. Uh, going to Ladles of Love on Tuesday night to Musenberg to Ladles of Love tonight of course a uh, gas explosion this afternoon and all the variances of living in Cape Town uh, we certainly live in an exciting city there's always stuff happening things happening people doing things and uh, yeah we've got Four seasons in one day again, pouring with rain up at the noonday gun this morning to the most beautiful sunset again. So it is really a privilege and an honor to, to live in the city with all those different cultures and ideas, people who for the most part are good.